Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we are going to ask a very fundamental question. Is your distro about to drop Chromium? Definitely an interesting debate coming on down the pipeline because some interesting stuff has recently come out that has some distribution saying, yeah, I might actually drop Chromium from the repos. That's a very interesting point to make. And so let's go ahead and have a brief look at what we're looking at here. This coming from the Chromium blog back last week, January 15th. This was first sent out by one of the users on uh, Discord. And the article goes in to say, during a recent audit, we discovered that some third-party Chromium-based browsers were able to integrate Google features such as Chrome Sync and Click to Call that were intended only for Google users. This meant that a small fraction of users could sign into their Google account and store their personal Chrome Sync data, such as bookmarks, not just with Google Chrome, but also with some third-party Chromium-based browsers. We are limiting access to our private Chrome API starting on March 15th. Now, I will point out this is a very interesting position to take all of a sudden because if you remember, it was maybe about a year or so ago, they very silently turned on Chrome Sync, specifically on open source Chromium browsers. If you are unaware of what that was, maybe you even missed it even to this day, this is a feature inside the browser that if you sign into any Google account, it automatically signed you into the browser and started syncing data. So many of us, uh, in fact, it was the open source Linux community that caught on to this, and we were the only ones really not blindsided by this. You just go on into your settings and disable that. They put in the disable option in the next setting. And so what they're looking at here is all of a sudden it's a surprise to them that the Google APIs are being used. Now, there is a little bit of a warning note here to think about. Right now, there is Safari, which... Find me the people that use that. I mean, most people even on an Apple don't even use Safari. And that's a very small percentage of people. We have a Firefox base and we have a Chromium base. Right now, now that everybody has gotten onto Chromium, I mean, Brave is built on Chromium, Vivaldi's built on Chromium, Microsoft Edge is now built on Chromium. <laughs> and now that Google has gotten in there and gotten pretty much the whole world, let's embrace, extend, and extinguish. And they are cutting off all of those APIs that have been in this system for years. In fact, many of the Linux distributions, it is well known that those APIs were in there and it was well known by Google that they were utilizing those APIs and they were doing so with full express permission. Now, as I covered in the weekly news roundup this week, you will note that there is a new uh, system for ad tracking being implemented into the Google accounts, and they are probably trying to do this as a way to get ahead of that and make sure, and I'm not sure exactly what their end play is, because I figured it'd be better for them if those APIs are enabled. So I'm not sure exactly what's at play here. I don't think this is an accident. I don't think it took some audit. I think there's some very specific reason for this change. So basically what this means from my perspective as a security guy who I do use Chromium as one of the alternative browsers. I use, you have to understand, I use a battery of web browsers. No one web browser is particularly good. I still use WokeFox in some applications. Uh, I'm phasing WaterFox out in favor of LibreWolf in place of that. Um, I am not using Edge anywhere. I am using Chromium. I do have some Vivaldi and I do have some Brave on set up on some systems. And so we have some elements here of these different web browsers. And one of the things I highlighted in my top five web browsers for 2021 video is that, hey, use ungoogled Chromium instead of the basic Chromium. So what they're basically doing is taking Chromium and they're making it a little bit closer to ungoogled Chromium. And for the life of me, I cannot figure out from the Linux package managers who are throwing a hissy fit about this, why the hell is this a problem? <laughs> Half of us switched to Linux to get away from the big companies, to get away from cloud storage, to get away from things like Chrome Sync. And now Google's saying, we're going to take Chrome Sync away. Good. 
<laughs> Maybe I won't have to install ungoogled Chromium on stuff if you're not sucking out behind the free and open source Chromium base. Will it become a dilapidated browser that can't do anything? Well, the OMG Ubuntu article actually has a little bit more data. Use Chromium, sync features will stop working March 15th. Oh, just tear out my heart, just tear it out. I don't even know how to use Chrome sync features. I don't want to know how to use Chrome sync features. Uh, daily reminder, watch the selfish ledger. There you go. That's why I'm not interested in using Chrome sync features. So uh, they did actually provide a good list. Google account sync, okay. Geolocation, I'm all for removing geolocation from browsers. Nothing has been the bane of anything more than a browser knowing my location. No earthly reason. Click to call. Um, okay, if I have a phone enabled something, I can push a button and call from my browser. I don't care. I, I have this thing called a phone and I can pick it up and I can dial a couple numbers. Uh, the Chrome spelling API, that's one that we may rem uh, lament losing, although there are options for that. Contacts API, so your browser cannot browse your contacts and make connections to people you know. This is a good thing, people. This is not a bad thing. This is a good thing. And then Chrome translate element. Okay, fair enough. Uh, if I, in the odd sense that I find myself on a German website like I was the other day, and uh, they don't have an English translator, unfortunately the site I was on did have a translator, I can't automatically translate it in the page. Okay, I hear you there. Uh, there are... I believe alternatives for that as well. Let's go back to the only one of these that is remotely useful in my opinion is the Chrome spell checking API. Well, use the open source language tool extension, free and open source software, and it will not only give you spelling, but grammar check in your browser as well. So there you have it. I don't exactly think that these are, are real things that we in the Linux community need to be up in arms about. Sure, if you're trying to produce a normie distribution, I get it. I completely understand. So everyone's saying, go use Woke Fox now. That's been the rallying cry. Get rid of it. Use Woke Fox. That's Firefox, by the way. Uh, if you haven't missed that. Now, I'm not completely throwing Firefox under the bus entirely. It still is one of the best browsers because you can turn off a lot of the crap. I don't like what is the company is doing behind itself, but nevertheless, it is a decent alternative. But taking out the Google API so that the open source Chromium browser doesn't connect as much with Google? Why is the Linux world all up in arms about this? Can you let me know in the description down below because I really have a clue here. But uh, there are, of course, the Arch developer uh, for this. I'm not sure. Um, but um, uh, Jockton Eisenler, um, director of engineering at Chrome, has confirmed that the killing of our API keys is a done deal. He also does not seem interested in the slightest bit to explore possible remedies for Chromium packages. If Chrome's keys are still public in March, I would want to try to use our Chromium package for however long they remain unchanged and non-secret. If a team member thinks this is a terrible idea, let me know. If uh, if or when the above workaround fails, I'm going to stop maintaining Chromium and be in favor of dropping the package from our repos, though I have a feeling somebody will want to adopt it despite the reduction in functionality. I think that, hey, don't drop it, just make it known to people there's a reduction of functionality. That's what this video is about. Spread it far and wide, just let people know, hey guys, a few of those little highly convenient features are gonna be missing from your, uh, your Chromium browsers pretty soon, if they're not already. Some distros are pulling them out now. Um, this is called a good thing because all of those really cool, easy to use features, they were part of the Google ecosystem and now Google is no longer as involved in your web browser. This is a good thing. Now I have full confidence that somebody over there at Arch is going to pick this up and go, yeah, this is exactly what we've been wanting for. Good. Easier to maintain than ungoogled Chromium. <laughs> so <laughs> there we have it. So that's the, the, the bottom line is that Chromium is indeed losing uh, sync support and other features features as we have highlighted. So, uh, so what? There's an excellent post over on the Level 1 Tech forums. Check out Level 1 Tech's channel if you've not already. Excellent content over there. 
They have a list uh, distros considering removing Chromium after Google revokes it. So Arch, uh, of course, we just looked at the Arches. Debian, this isn't as much to do with the APIs as a little bit of complaints that Debian just doesn't do as good of a job with Chrome, uh, Chromium, excuse me, than they should. And I completely agree. The Debian versions of Chromium are out of date. There are a lot of bug fixes. Debian should probably be a little bit more on it. I know Debian rolls about as fast as a glacier, which is one of its positive selling points, but maybe we should keep the web browsers a little bit more up to date, I guess. Fedora, uh, I don't think they're necessarily pulling it out. I didn't dig into fine detail on all of these. Uh, but uh, what they're doing is uh, Google announced it's cutting off access to sync and other Google exclusive APIs from all builds except Google Chrome. This will make Fedora Chromium significantly less functional. But what they said is they're just going to start pulling that stuff out now. Slackware, uh, from the email I received, I understand the ability to use Google Sync will be removed from my APIs used to build the Slackware Chromium browser binary. The value of Chromium package for end users will drop right to zero if this is true. Right to zero if this is true. I'm sorry, I completely disagree with that statement. So you cannot use Chrome Sync. All right, guys, let me know. You Linux users, are you using Chrome Sync? Are you giving this data to Google? I don't understand. A drop right to zero? No, this increases functionality for me. I have to, I can be a little bit less careful on Chromium. I honestly see no reason to continue compiling and packaging Chromium for Slackware if Google developers present this uh, group, confirm this policy. I, I don't understand this, guys. Chromium is just as bad as Firefox. You can't trust either. And Chrome is way worse. I don't see this as a loss. Might be red pill from you, few normies. Amen, Sergeant Awesome. Absolutely correct. This is a red pill. Guys, oh my God. My, all of my computer's data stopped syncing with Google servers. And this is a bad thing? Uh, no, no, no. And then there's a little bit more discussion. But look at look at this. This is this is sometimes how disconnected some of the Linux package people are. I really don't see this as being a loss. It's not like this from first time Google has killed a feature. If you want to try first party features and use a first party product. Firefox also has syncing. Plus, there's a whole host of syncing plugins available for whatever browser. And guys, there's actually, if you really want to sync stuff better, spin up a Nextcloud and install the browser plugins to sync all that stuff to your next cloud build instead of syncing it to Google. Just a thought, just thought. So there's really nothing that isn't Chromium or Firefox under the hood. How do we get here? Yeah, I know. Um, let's see, isn't Brave built on Chromium Blink though? Um, yeah, so you can kind of read through that. I'll go ahead and put these, uh, uh, I'll put, I'll, I'm gonna leave out the, the Arch Dev one as a Wayback Machine link, but you can find that linked in the level one. I'll go ahead and leave these, these three individual packages here, uh, these three links I'll go ahead and put in the description down below. But uh, some distros are looking at removing Chromium because Chromium is removing Google APIs. I don't understand why that is necessarily a big deal because frankly, it just means that your browser is sending less data to Google Chrome and a Google account, which is actually the thing we should be looking towards is to not syncing as much stuff. Now I get you wanna sync your browsers across and your bookmarks and all this stuff across every single device you have. As people said in the level one forums, there are multiple other ways to do that without giving the data to Google. I do not see this as a bad thing at all. In fact, I see this as a step in the right direction for Chromium not in the wrong direction. And being as that I already recommend ungoogled Chromium over Chromium anyway, this just brings Chromium closer to ungoogled Chromium. Those are my thoughts. I don't see this as a big deal. Hopefully a lot of distros don't, don't actually get rid of Chromium. I think it might be a lot more talk uh, than anything else. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.